a DVD or a CD, you need a DVD burner. But if your DVD burner is bad, then it's not going to work so good. And in here, on my Mac Pro, it's bad. It's got the stock one from 2006 when this thing came off the line, and it's bad. So, I have two new drives right here that I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to put in. Now, depending on what model Mac Pro you have, this will vary a little bit, but it shouldn't be that different unless you have one of the newest ones. So basically, the usual, to open it up, just pull the switch over here and pop off your door. Set it aside somewhere safe so it doesn't get ruined, obviously. Um, just a little note, I put down a towel here. You might not want to scratch your desk if it gets scratched easy. So you can go ahead and put down a towel here to protect it and set the Mac Pro on top. Um, it's heavy enough, it's not going to slide right off. Um, basically, this is what you're going to see. Mine is very dusty and dirty. It needs a blow job. No, uh, compressed air blow, if you know what I mean. Very yucky. So, don't play around with that the whole time. Um, you have your hard drives up here, and right above is this box right here. So you just got to pop that guy out. He just slides on out, and there you are. There is your stock drive right here on the top. This is connected by some cables, so you're going to want to yank those out before you rip them out of the logic board. So, just carefully take those out. The drives in the Mac Pro, this version at least, are um, IDE drives. They're not the SATA connectors. The hard drives are SATA, but the optical drives are not. I'd blow in here right now and get out some of this dust, but it will go everywhere all over my face. So basically, this is the bad one right here. So you need a screwdriver then, like this, to take it out. Just a plain old Phillips head screwdriver. So you can just go ahead and unscrew those easily. It's got screws on each side to hold it in nice and good. Um, for the bottom drive, if you're putting in two, um, the Mac Pro does come with extra screws, which is very nice. And I'll show you where those are in a second. Um, you go ahead and take out your screws on each side. There they are. And here's the bad drive. So this drive is bad. I could probably just throw it away right now, but I will set it aside just in case I need it at some point for something or just keep it for a few days in case something comes up. So, like I said, I have two new drives I ordered from Newegg.com. They are LG DVD burners. Um, I have an LG external burner, and that works pretty good, so I trusted the internal ones. Um, any regular burner should work, even though it does have these fancy slots, because it just triggers a piece that will push this button, causing that to open. So, as long as it's the IDE ports on the back, you're good to go. So, what you're going to want to do is have that lined up and go ahead and slide onto the drive. Um, it will line up with holes. You should be able to see it as it comes through, if you're doing it correctly. There we go. So the holes aren't perfect, it won't sit against the bottom, which is good because it can overheat then. So you will have to set it on the side to get the first two screws in or so. So just go ahead and screw that in nice and good. There goes mine sliding all over the place. Not too tight, just enough to hold it in there. So it is going to have to stay there for a while unless you plan on changing them in a month or so. Um, like I said, the drive that was in there was from 2006. It was the Apple stock drive. So it's probably time for an upgrade anyway, but it did go bad. It was making strange noises whenever I'd insert a disc, which started to scare me a little bit. Um, so now you can just line it up on this side. Drop in your screws. Um, it is best to use a magnetic screwdriver with this. 
um, though you can use one that is not. I would recommend it just in case you need to grab your screw if it falls somewhere. It shouldn't be that hard. More so just to get into the slot easy. Um, be careful not to strip your screws too because it only comes with eight and if you're using two drives in here it's not going to be good. Um, I would recommend using all four screws though you could probably get away with three. So first drive is in as you can see right there and there is space on top. Um, it doesn't matter which order you do them in. I just did the bottom one because I thought that would be easier. Um, now before you slide this one in you got to make sure you realize there are four screws located here right above that drive across from these slots. So you're going to want to take out those four because those are going to be for your new drive. So once you pull those out, you can then slide it in. It takes a second. They've never been opened up before. Um, otherwise, they'll slide right out. Not that hard, though. Um, it just takes a Phillips screwdriver. You gotta make sure you take out all four of these screws. Um, like I said, I purchased LG DVD burners off Newegg.com. I believe they were $26.99 each. Um, not a bad deal. I got two of them, as you can see. Okay, so now I just slide this one on in. And your holes should line up just about perfect then, sitting on top of the other one. So you should be able to just slide your screws straight in and start screwing if you're lucky. I just gotta angle around a little bit. Um, it does work while well setting it on its side though, because then it just lines up better, I think at least. So go ahead and screw that in then. I know someone in the comments is going to ask the specs of my machine. It's a 2 times 2.0 gigahertz dual core Xeon processor. So 4 cores total. It only has 2 gigs of memory right now. I plan on upgrading that soon. Um, it's got a 500 gig in slot A and a, uh, um, a uh, 3, no, 160 in the other slot. The specs will be in the video description if I can remember to get them in. So, I have finished screwing in both of mine. There is a little bit of a gap there, if you can see. I know the lighting isn't great. Um, so, looks pretty nice right there. They are new drives. So now what you can do is you can take your ribbon cable here and Go ahead and plug that one in. There's two on for each drive. Um, okay. Got it. Then take the power from both. Make sure you get them in nice and good, but don't push too hard. You do have to apply a little bit of force, especially to those power ones. Um, now, the worst part is getting it back in. Sometimes you're going to have issues with those cables being in the way. Hope it goes in easily this time. Um, there's some tracks on the bottom you have to line up. And then, if you get it right like that, it should slide right in and be set flush against those other ones nice and flat. Nice and good there. So if it is stuck out a little bit, you got to pull it out and keep trying. I know that's happened to me in the past. Um, so basically, you just finished installing drive A and drive B. So you can go ahead and take your cover and put that back on. And just line it up down there. Close it and flip the switch. And you just finished installing two new drives, or one, or however you want to do this, into your Mac Pro. Um, like I said, fairly simple process. If you have any questions, send me an email.